I'm Kelvin. I'm the leader of Newton's Minion, and we are from SM Science Kuching Utara. Hi, my name is Mark. Hi, my name is Ryan. Hi, my name is Vivo. Ever heard about sour eggplant or commonly known as strong asam? Let me share with you the objective of this project. So, the main goal for our product today is to reveal the benefits of sour eggplant to people all around the world. We also want to evaluate the commercial, commercial potential as it's easily found at Sarawak. Alongside with that, we also want to widen the usage of sour eggplant. Instead of using it in food making only, why don't we use sour eggplant another thing that out of the box? Sour eggplant is native to the island of Borneo, especially in Sarawak and is available all year round. You can easily find sour eggplant in the local market and they are related to tomatoes and peppers. Sour eggplant or most commonly known as terong daya or terong iban are small, elongated, round fruits that measure an average of 8cm long and 6cm in diameter. The skin matures from green to yellow orange, red orange or dark purple, depends on variety. The firm flesh is orange and surround of a central cavity containing dozens of small seeds. The aroma of the flesh is like tomato and it has sour acidic flavor and most of the time it replaces tamarind in cooking. This fruit gets the protected geography indication status in 2011 and it is the fifth most economically salinaceous crop after potato, tomato, pepper, and tobacco. Besides Sarawak, they also can be found growing in Indonesia and the Philippines. Sour eggplant is boiled and cut into small pieces without peeling the skin. Then, it is poured into plastic bag and crushed until it becomes a solid liquid foam. This juice or extract from the sour eggplant will be mixed in the soft base later. Sour eggplant is cut into slices and dried under the sun. Dried sour eggplant retains large number of vitamins, fiber, and minerals. It is also does not contain preservative or chemicals. In a double boiler, the soft base sour eggplant extract, fragrance, oil base, lemon juice, and water are mixed together. Pour the mixture carefully into the silicon mold together with the sun-dried eggplant and lemon. Cool it down for 1 to 3 hours. Remove the soap from the silicon mold. Then wrap the soap to prevent the soap from sweating. Wait for another 1 to 3 hours until it is completely solid before the soap is taken out and dry them. Sour eggplant is one of the specialty in Sarawak whereas it is rarely found in other places beside Borneo Island. The study conducted by the researcher is mostly used in proper eggplant, brinjal or albertan. The target buyers are among teenagers and adults because our product is friendly, natural and fragrant. It is an opportunity to introduce about sour eggplants to everyone because it's slow and affordable. Nowadays, the homemade products has become a trend in the community. Practically, our product, Borneo Sour Soap, is successfully produced. It gives a pleasant smell and gentle to the skin. This product has been created with all efforts and obstacles such as the change in weather in Kuching and limitation of time. In the future, we believe that we can produce a much better product using the sour eggplants and promote these local fruits to the world. For example, sour eggplants candy or dried snack as not everyone is familiar with the taste of this fruit. We hope that our product is able to help to introduce the benefits of the eggplants to everyone as they contain a valuable nutrition value. That's all from us. Thank you. Bye-bye.